So today I'm talking about a P2646 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P2646 code? Well, it's an A rocker arm actuator control system performance stuck off, bank one. And what does this mean? Well, many vehicles have what's called variable valve timing, which basically can adjust the timing as the engine's running. And this is a very good system. It can help give better performance at higher RPMs. It can also allow the vehicle to give better fuel economy. But when you get a P2646 code, the computer's seeing some kind of problem inside of the system. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And you know, one thing to note about these systems is that there can't be differences depending on the vehicle, the year, different things like this. So if you are going to work on your car or truck, be sure to get a diagram for your specific vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, you're going to have two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you look up what the number one cylinder is on your engine, since there can be differences, and you find that, that's going to be bank one. And the opposite of that is going to be bank two. And so what would be some possible causes of a P2646 code? Well, the first thing to do is go check your engine oil. Be sure it's not low or really super dirty or anything like this. It's because the variable valve timing all works off of oil pressure. And so if the oil's low or if it's really dirty, that's going to cause problems. So the first thing to do is go check your engine oil. The next thing that's going to cause this is the oil pressure sensor or switch. The location of this pressure sensor or switch can really vary. It's going to depend on the vehicle, the year, the make, different things like this. For example, if you have a Honda, the system's called a VTEC system, and there's a rocker arm oil pressure switch built into the VTEC. And so, for example, in this case, you can just go test that oil pressure switch and check to see if it's good, or you could replace the whole VTEC. On other vehicles, this sensor is going to be located differently. It could be on the block, different things like this. So like I said before, be sure to get a diagram of what's going on on your specific vehicle, because the next thing that could cause this is a bad oil pressure sensor or switch. The next thing that's going to cause this is a bad variable valve timing oil control valve. And again, there can be differences on exactly how this is working. There's what's called variable valve timing solenoids. There'll be one for the intake and the exhaust. And on some vehicles, this is going to be the oil control valve. But then on some vehicles, there will be variable valve timing solenoids, but the oil control valve will be located differently. But basically, there's some kind of problem with that oil control valve, and that's going to cause issues. So the next thing on the list is going to be a bad oil control valve. And the last thing on the list is going to be some kind of wiring issue. So this could be the wires going to the oil control valve with solenoids or to the oil pressure switch or things like this. If there's any problem with the wiring going to these components, then that's going to cause the same problems as a bad component. And so the last thing on the list is going to be a wiring issue. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P2646 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.